Hey guys, welcome to our new project. So in this video, we're going to design the simple POS system. So as you can see here, I'm creating the layout, uh, the structure of our main page. So we have the two sidebars. So the right side we have these images, and then the product name details. Maybe we'll add the price, and then on the right side is we have this order we have the app logo and the the amount we also have the checkout button now here on our photoshop just create a new file then here going to design it uh design the layout so let's add two columns so here um first thing we need to do is let's make the left side bigger so right now let's remove or just add the border and then the transparent background and then for the right side right side bar then here um, let's add the input so uh, this will be a search input um, here we can search for our product and then it will just load the search uh, product so here I'll uh, just add a gray background then here let's add the placeholder so let's create the search product and change make the font size smaller so next thing we need to do is let's update the right sidebar or right section so here now let's just name it IMS for now so that's the app logo something then here let's just add the background uh, pink then here transform the logo to y then here um let's just resize then here that should be the checkout button so let's add the text So this looks great. Um, let's just add the stroke to this. So one px. Then change the color to white. I mean pink. Then let's just save this one. Um, here um, we'll just show here the list of orders so once the user select a product then every time you select it it will update on this section so let's just add um, header so we have here the quantity um, so the hashtag signifies the um, the order ID or the order count so in our HTML it will be an a table so here um second section is the amount third is quantity and second is the product so product so change the color uh, update the color of these headers then here so let's just use item one and then just duplicate them then here set the amount quantity so here just number order number one and then now uh, let's just resize them or move them um, 
we need to have an action column so we can just you know remove the order or update so let's add some icons uh, here or oh, let's add an edit icon so let's just easy copy that one paste and then here just remove uh, the background and then here um, we're just going to set the color or overlay of this and set it to that color so we also need to have a delete icon so I'll just copy then just clear and then change the size and then here we can just change the color overlay next is let's have a divider between the items ordered by the customer so here um let's make it the alternating background colors uh, first one is as uh, there is background and then next row we don't have this or just clear background so let's just reposition the headers so this looks great um, now our um, next thing we need to do is just add this to the group so we can easily duplicate it so move it here so they are now inside the group mm, with the icons okay and then of course the background so now we can just easily grab and duplicate the items then here uh, let's just resize or I mean move them So now let's now change the background of this. Uh, it's clear, so it will be an alternating uh, background. So here is just update um, the text. inside be or below this um, table list of items will show the number or the total amount so here let's move that outside the group um, let's move it to the top and here this will be the total amount and if we just enlarge it and then let's add a text a label so this will be the total amount and then here let's make it bold and change the um label let's just make it total so it's shorter then here we can just set the regular so next we can do is we can add a gear icon so basically this is on the top side uh, top right section um, just settings so can make this clickable and maybe a layout or account details something like that let's just change the color um white white so this looks good let's 
is reposition this one then here um next to do is let's um update this one let's move it to the top then resize the label Then let's just change the background color. Um, make it that color. Uh, let's make it a full width. So next thing we need to do is we add the um section for images so uh, we'll just grab sample images from google then paste it here so here we'll have image so by default going to show the products maybe the recently added or the top products um just grab this one paste so let's add one more so actually i added or grab this product so now let's go try to resize first these products so this is just an example um So now um, let's add this rectangle so this will serve as the border of the product between the products. So first image I uh, will just add that um, rectangle and then um, here um, let's change the border uh, that one then here below we'll have um, the name of the product um, so let's just change the, the background to that one then change the opacity and then I think that's the color that we need uh, next thing is going to just resize the product and then here uh, let's add the name inside the rectangle then here uh, let's just change the size of this and then here um, going to add the price so now we can just easily grab these or before that let's just group it so we can easily um, duplicate the styles or the design um, mm -hmm. so let's add it to then here let's just move then we just resize this one so here um, let's try to resize or move images so right now we can just so they're not perfectly equal but in our mm, code we'll make it the same size so we can just grab it um, just reposition these images let's just make this 
cut up images smaller let's just delete that one um, so now we can just easily grab so actually I'll select the three of this and copy or duplicate or clone so now it just looks good so let's just add the padding between uh, yeah between the search product input then here um let's update the labels uh, if it is hovered by the user um, we'll update the color of the background I mean the background label color of that product so here um, I think um, let's we can use this as our default so instead of the black label background we can use this one then here once the user click or hover on the product will add a new design so maybe we will cover the whole product if the user hovered or mouse is hovered in that let's just change the opacity Turn. label um, can add here the button so add button so this button if you click on it it will add the this item to the order list which is on the right side section so that should be the design once user hover on the product will show the add button so this looks great um, let's just update some of these uh, positioning these images fix this overlap so as you can see it looks good now so in our next video um, we're going to convert this PDF file PDF design into the an HTML.